all right? Just hunters. Yeah, yeah. What's just What's what's in that one? It's metal stuff from the barn. Metal stuff. Yeah. Do you mean tools? I think so. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to be sure. Green sticker. You know which one the green one is, right? Yeah. Hey, Caleb, can you stop being a prick to my friends for five minutes? No, it's OK. It's all right. No, it's not. Oh, honestly, we're used to him. Besides, we're here for you. OK? I know. And I appreciate that. Thanks. All right. What color? This is full of books, so... red? Yeah, I have a feeling the color coding wasn't your idea. What gave that away? Um, do you think we can switch? I don't want to... Uh... Oh, no, yeah, that's fine. That's good, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, is there much more left? Uh, this thing's in the house, maybe like six boxes in the barn or so. Want me to hit the barn with you? No, no, that's okay. Thank you, though, Ruth. Seems kind of... Prickly today, huh? Hmm. Well, you know what? At least it keeps them out of trouble, right? Are you snooping? No, just browsing. Anything good? Where the fuck are all my coyote traps? I don't know. I told everybody not to touch them. That is a safety hazard. You could lose a hand. Daniel probably put them in the trailer already. Fucking Daniel. He told me he had tools. He's doing his best, OK? And he's free, and he's my friend. Get what you pay for. How do you end up with a woman like Ruth, anyway? That kid's brain is orbiting Jupiter. <sighs> He's very sweet, Caleb. Not that you'd know anything about that. Really? Right fucking now? What? I just... I just don't have time for this snarky attitude. Okay, if we don't get the rental back in time, we will have to pay for another day. How much could that actually cost? Do you have an extra pile of cash just hidden in the barn? Because you didn't tell me about it. Okay, would it kill you to be positive just for like the rest of the day? They're doing us a favor. Doing us a favor. Yeah. Great. Green sticker. Do you want to talk about it? No. How goes the battle? I thought everyone could use some coffee. Ah, yes, I'd kill for one. I can't seem to get the kettle to work. Um, let me try. Guess it bit the dust. One last thing to move, I guess. I'm just glad it wasn't me. No, don't worry about it. We've got some instant, so. Sandra, do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to fucking talk about it. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's just... 
I'm stressed from the move, I guess. Fuse? Do you want me to get it? No. No, it's fine. Try it now. No change. Okay, I'm coming back up. All right, that's it, guys. Let's get going. Great job, everyone. Daniel, you pull your car to the side, and then you can follow us. I just want to take one last quick sweep. We have everything. It'll take me five minutes, Caleb. Sandra. Get in the car. What's wrong? Can't seem to get the car to start. Do you want me to try? No, I I can do it. Last load. Excited? Thrilled. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want him behind the wheel either. Honestly, I'm just surprised he's legally allowed to drive. Jesus Christ, how difficult of a task is this? Today? Give me two minutes and I'll see what's up. Hey guys, what's up? I think the battery's dead. I think I may have left the light on. Oh. Okay. Give me a sec. Caleb? Do we have jumper cables? <laughs> what? Jumper cables, their battery's dead. <laughs> You're joking right now. I'm afraid not. I don't have the fucking time for this. We'll just give them a boost. Do you know where the cables are? In the trailer. In the trailer. I am not spending my life unpacking dozens of mislabeled boxes because you can't take care of your vehicle. Put it in neutral and hop out. You two, hop out. What's happening? We are moving this piece of garbage out of the way so that we can take out the rental. Okay, first of all, rude. Second, I don't get it. Yeah, how does this help us start their car? That's not my problem right now, okay? The rental car with a trailer full of our shit is my problem. No, give me two minutes and we can get the jumper cables. I don't know how to be more clear, Sandra. We have to go now. What, and we're gonna leave them here? You guys, what, three miles down the road, right? You're fine. You did thank you for everything that you've done so far. We really appreciate it. We have it from here. No, Caleb, you're being ridiculous. Sandra. Just don't. Okay, Daniel, come on. Ruth, can you just crank the steering wheel to the left, please? Okay, bend your knees. Ready? Okay. Three. 
two, one, push. We did it. Thanks, man. All right. Caleb, get the chalk. Daniel, were you screwing around with us? No one has touched your car but you, Caleb. What about Ruth? She has been here at all day. I didn't sabotage your fucking car, Caleb, okay? I'm just trying to get you out of here. Get me out of here? The both of you. I am sure that's what you meant. Why don't we call AAA? Holy shit, the space cadet had a coherent thought. You don't have to be such an asshole, okay? We're all trying to get out of here. Yelling at my friends isn't going to help. Call them. Thanks. Oh. Your battery's dead, Ruth. I don't own a phone. Of course you don't. <laughs> Who's got a charger? Wouldn't make a difference anyways. Power's been cut. Of course it has! What a perfect time for everybody's incompetence to shine like the fucking stars! Caleb! You don't have to be so upset, okay? What do you want us to do? Why aren't you mad? You're the one who wanted to get out of this house so fucking badly! Do you want to have that conversation right now? Um... You know, our place is really not that far away. I can get a jump starter. It's just an hour, hour and a half. Daniel! I think that would be best. Hello there, friend. Afternoon. Not a, not a bad afternoon at all, is it? No, no it's not. Not like that other day. The other day? That's right. Well, okay. <laughs> where are you headed? Where, where am I headed? Right. I'm just, I'm just going home. What's going on there? What's going on at my home? I say what's going on there. Oh, I'm just going to help my friends. They just need to pick something up. Oh. Um, can I help you with something? Oh, you know why? Just trying to meet the neighbors. New in town. She moved in last week. Well, welcome. Thanks. Where'd you come from? Oh, pretty far, I guess. Pretty far. Far? Um, like the coast? Right, like the coast. 
Do you like the coast? I think so. I've never actually been there. Oh, it's beautiful. I should take you. It's a date. <laughs> so what's going on there? What, at, at the coast? At your home. Oh, I just need to pick something up for my friends. They're stranded. Well, you don't say. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. They're over there a bit. Oh, sorry to hear that. How many friends? Including me? That's right. It's four. Four friends. No fun being stranded. No, no fun at all. Um, say, um, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I really got to get going. Oh, sure, sure. I totally understand. kind of you to help your friends like that. Oh, it's, it's nothing. Not nothing. You're a good lad. Good to help your friends. Where? That's what friends do. They help friends. <laughs> You're a good guy. I could tell. I got a sense for these things. Thanks. Um, I gotta get going. Hey, wait a minute, man. Now come over here a second. I'll give you a lift. Well, no, I don't think so. I... You've said your friends are stranded, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Strange man offers you a ride, you're supposed to say no. <laughs> but I'm no pedophile and you're no spring chicken. And look, nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> Tell you what, you come over here, I'll give you a ride, and we'll get to know each other. Real neighborly. It is a mile up the road. Is that okay? Sure thing. Hop in. Okay. Thanks. My name is Daniel. What's your name? We don't have to talk about it, you know. I know. But, on the other hand, I mean, this is probably my last free session with you for a while, so... <sighs> okay. Did something happen before we arrived today? I mean, he seemed pretty worked up. I think it's just stress from the move. He always seems stressed. Yeah, but we'll push through it. Okay. But... Why? Why push through it? Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly a rare occurrence. <sighs> because we've pushed through worse? That's not really a reason. <laughs> I don't know, Ruth, what do you want me to say? Okay, look, I'm not trying to fight you. I know you're not. I just want to see you happy. That's why I keep you around. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps, I can throw some money towards the rental. No, it's not about the money. But thank you, though, I appreciate it. Think you're gonna miss this place? <laughs> No, I think I agree with the loss of it a long time ago. The loss? What it was supposed to have been, what it was going to be. And what was that? <laughs> it's more of a Caleb question, I think. <laughs> Can't tell if you want me to pry or not. No, I think I'm at peace with it. You know what? Sit with me. Okay. Do you remember Andrew Fulton? <laughs> a guy I dated in college? Yeah, that's the one. Yes, I remember him. What about him? Do you remember that summer that we all rented that cottage? I think it was after second year. 
Oh my God, yes. And it didn't have a working toilet. <laughs> You were so paranoid about getting poison ivy on your cooch. <laughs> I had big plans for my cooch that weekend. He was so adamant on finding me the perfect place to go pee. Oh yeah, he was super serious about that. Yeah, he put on like two hats, like he was Sherlock Holmes or something. <laughs> what did he call it? Going on a piss patrol? Yes! Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot that guy. <laughs> what a weirdo, eh? Oh, completely. He was a lot of fun though. I will give him that. Guys broke up soon after that. Yeah, it was short lived, I guess. Why'd you end things? He wanted different things, I guess. I wanted something more serious. And you found that in Caleb, I guess. Why are you asking me this? It's just that, that summer at the cottage, that's the last time I saw you truly relaxed. That's not true. Well, last time I personally saw it, and you and I are pretty much in a symbiotic relationship, <laughs> so I would know. Caleb and I have fun, okay? Maybe not piss patrol levels of fun, but we do. Okay. We used to. And how long ago was that? in the woods. What? She said there's something in the woods. Do you have a gun? No, I don't have a gun, but I do have my clothes in a box labeled for the kitchen. God, how many of these did you mess up? Caleb, would it kill you to take this seriously? Oh, I take it very seriously. God knows what the food is labeled under. Oh, nobody's hungry. Hey, look, we're walking through the field near the tree lines when we saw something. Wait, wait, wait. Why? I told you, there's still traps up there. You could have lost a leg. Yes, I know, but we think we saw something from the woods coming towards the house. Okay, so you think you saw something in the woods? Yes. So you saw a coyote? It wasn't a coyote. Bet you it was. Look, Caleb, Ruth is freaked. We're not kidding. Neither am I. You guys can't even tell colors apart. How do you expect to properly identify a coyote? Okay, you know what? Ignore me then, like usual. I got it. What's your problem? My problem? How about you take me seriously for once? Take you serious? You run up spouting nonsense and expect me to go deal with what? Your imagination? You always fucking do this. Do what? Think rationally? Do you honestly think I don't know what a coyote looks like? Obviously you don't. This is so like you. I come to you asking for help and you brush me off like I'm fucking crazy. You are acting crazy. Okay? You got what you wanted, you can drop the performance. What is that supposed to mean? It means... You win. We're leaving. Congratulations. Are you fucking joking? No, I'm serious. You win. You got yours. I am punished. We're leaving it all. Congratulations. Don't you fucking put this on me, Caleb. Why? It's your ultimatum. My ultimatum? Oh, your idea to leave. You want to talk about ideas here? Was it my idea to leave a good paying job in the city and come fucking work on a farm with you? Oh my god, I need new experiences. I'm gonna twist your arm. Was it my idea to blow off therapy three years ago? Okay, we didn't have the money for that. That's not my fault. Was it my idea for you to go start fucking some girl down the road? Jesus! Like I said, you win. I'm punished. I'm giving it all up. Giving up acres of land for some shitty downtown apartment with no car, no parking spot, no nature, so you can blog about your espressos in a coffee shop while I waste my life in another goddamn office. But that's okay, because you never have to see this house, those fields, or that girl ever a fucking again! Are you fucking kidding me? 
No, 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 everything's... We, you don't understand. They're coming for me. Okay, just, just hold on a sec. Okay? Call someone? Because unless you've got a working phone on vibrate no, hidden in there. No, no! You're getting rid of her now. I don't care where she goes, she's getting out. Fine! I will deal with this like I deal with everything else that goes wrong in this house. No one is leaving. Jamie? What are you doing? I'm sorry. But you have to listen to me. I'm listening. We're all listening. Who are you? I'm Ruth. I... I... She's helping us move. No one can go outside. Okay. No one is leaving the house. Why don't you lower the gun? No, no, no. Talking need... We need to start nailing things shut. I don't understand what you want me to do. Where are the tools? Where? I wasn't fucking talking to you! Tools are in the trailer. If you would like, I can go and grab them. No, I told you no one can go outside. Okay. What do you want us to do? Lock the door. You get the side. Okay. is in the house. No one, it's just us. We need to check. A everybody upstairs, now! Jamie, why don't we just... I said upstairs!
No. Stay out of my bedroom. I just have to check. you. I'm trying to save you. Those things out there, they take you. They take over your body. I know how it sounds, but I've seen it. They took my boyfriend, they took his friends. They would have taken me too, but I got away. Not bullshit! I had to shoot him. Jamie, who did you shoot? It wasn't him. I had to. He was one of them. I didn't have a choice. Sandra, I've seen them. And I know you've seen them too. Exactly where? In that field. Look. Go look. Slow. Keep your head down. Do you see? Uh, yeah, sure, I see. What do you see? I don't know, uh, a field and some trees. Jesus Christ, Caleb, do you see them or not? I will see whatever you want, just tell me what I am looking for. Move.
Howdy, neighbor. Hey. Hey. Seth? Okay. Ruth, we need to get out of here now. We're going out the window. Wait. What if she's telling the truth? Do you even know who's been pointing a gun at us? Okay, look, I understand that her and Caleb have history, but history to say the fucking least. No, we are getting out of here now. You all packed up? Yeah, oh, all packed up. Ready to hit the road. Must be excited. Excited? Yeah, very. Can't wait. Sandra, I get it. I do. But if she is telling the truth, then we have to stay quiet. That piece of shit is incapable of telling the truth. I'll bet. Hey, is your lady around? Never did get to make her acquaintance. Oh yeah? No. No, she, uh, uh, she went on ahead. Did she? Yeah. Shame. Sandra, you saw them too, okay? I was there, I saw that, you saw them. I don't know what we saw, but it doesn't fucking justify anything. Justify? She's a crazy person, but she's a crazy person with a gun, okay? You are being completely irrational. I can't believe you're taking her side. Well, I just wanted to wish you both good luck. You'll have to pass that along to her. Will do. Thank you. Jamie didn't stop in by chance, did she? Jamie, what? I am not taking her aside. I am not. I'm just trying to get us out of this unscathed. Oh my god. How long have we been friends for? Why don't you just trust me? This isn't about trust. She took off of me this morning. I thought she might have fancied one less roll in your hay bales. Look, Seth, I... No, out the window. We're going. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait. The logical thing to do is to wait. Kayla, both men here. It's okay. It's fine. Jamie's not here. The logical thing to do is get the fuck out of this house, okay? We need to move now. Help me. Ruth, you... Help me! I'll tell you what. I'll come in. With a farewell beer. No hard feelings. I don't have any beer. That's okay. I don't drink. Sandra, stop, just stop. Just stop! stop. up with. Kitchen. That's as tight as I can make it. Okay. You better start fucking talking. Hey, are you deaf? Go easy. Why did you come here? 
I didn't know where else to go. Oh, and you thought you'd be welcome here. It's all right. Nothing is all right. Just need to know what's going on. What are those things? Where did they come from? How did they find us? Are they with you? What do they want? Answer me! Sandra, just give her a minute. Don't sympathize with her. Do you not remember who had a gun in our faces five minutes ago? Well, she's obviously traumatized. And we're not? Okay, you know what? That's it. You're going outside. No, no. Yes. No, 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 please, no! Then answer my fucking questions! Okay. Okay. Uh, about a week ago, uh, Seth started complaining that his friends were acting differently. Who the fuck is Seth? My boyfriend. Dead guy at the side of the house. So what, you shot him for it? I didn't shoot Seth. Okay, what part of start making sense did you not understand? He said... Something was wrong. I thought maybe he was just stressed from work. He said his friends were changing, but he didn't know how. And then I started to see it too. See what? The changes. What changes? You know when you know someone really well, and you can just tell when there's something wrong? I used to think so. It's like that. Did you- Hey! You! Are you up? What is wrong? No second time, man. We got eaten.
started running. I tried to hide for a while. And he found me again. I didn't want to shoot. But it wasn't him. Your go-to move is to kill Pop, come to your lover's house, and then stick a gun in his wife's face. Yeah. What? I think she's telling the truth. Don't. It might explain some things. What things? This explains nothing. Well, what about those weird things we keep seeing outside? I don't know what those things are, but they sure don't look like cops. It isn't just cops, I told you. It's everyone. I think... Those things take you over. Interesting defense. Evil cops possessed your boyfriend with a flashlight. I don't know, okay? But I swear. It's real. Real crazy bullshit. Give me that. No. Caleb, just give Caleb, it to me. I know how to work a flashlight. 987 local. I know the local station. There's my PA. Now I can repeat what Jimmy's saying. Mild weather centrally extending from Texas up through Tennessee. Mild Seems pretty mundane, area. don't you think? No crazy cops, no possessed Air pod people. Rain. Well, maybe it's still safe Air there. Maybe rain. it's still safe everywhere. What about the weird things? I don't know about the weird things, okay, Ruth? I think we should go. We're to the radio station? Yeah. I mean, if she's telling the truth, then yeah. We could call for help. Okay, the radio station has to be like 10 miles away. Well, Daniel's getting the jumper cables. We just wait till he gets back and then we get going. Somebody left? My partner, Daniel. He went to get something to start the cars with. He's not coming. Your time for talking is over. If you sent someone out there all alone, it's too late. You made it here just fine. Barely. I think we should go and find Daniel, okay? Let's just go and find Daniel. It's cool, Ruth. Daniel is fine. He's not. Shut the fuck up! Please. Can we please go and find him and get the fuck out of here right now? Please, let's just go! Yeah, I don't know about the rest of you, but... I don't want to be here when it gets dark. Okay. This is us. This is... Jamie's house. This is the radio station. Main road's here, and here. Back road's here, here, and to the gravel pit. Ruth, where did you see those things? by the tree lines. Is that it? No. By the road, too. Okay. That leads us the road in the opposite direction and the gravel pits. What about the fields? Too exposed. Plus, it's slow going. We'll run out of daylight. I say we start on this road back this way and zigzag to the gravel pits, only take the fields when we have to. Okay. Sandra, what do you think?
I think she goes first. Sandra, we need to go faster than this. Hey! Pick up the pace. Untie me then. You don't need your arms to walk, sweetheart. Maybe we should just untie her. I mean, what is she gonna do? Not an option. Look, I'm serious. Daniel is still out there. We have to hurry. Daniel is fine. We don't know that. Hey, what are you doing? Enough. Not this way. Jamie, what's wrong? I'm not going back this way. Come on, it's just for a little while. Jamie, why? What's happening? I'm sorry, what is she bitching about now? I'm not bitching! Why do I have to go first anyway? Because you're our prisoner. Keep walking. This is fucked. It's not fun being held hostage, is it? I'm a victim here, same as you. Uh, crazy shit in the woods or not, you still kill the cop, so you're not walking behind us, okay? Hey, I think we should keep it down. You're right. Shut up and keep moving. Maybe we could take turns. Oh my God, this isn't a fucking democracy. Move! Guys? Is it broken? I don't think so. Well, keep turning the crank! I am, Ruth. We cannot just stand here. Thanks, Tips. Well, so what does this mean? Is it not safe anymore? I mean, there's no way to know for sure. Okay, so what do you want to do? I mean, we haven't gone that far. We could go back and barricade ourselves in the house. Still got some daylight. Yeah, but what about Daniel? We have to get him help. We will find Daniel. He is dead. He is dead or one of those things. Jesus Christ, Jamie. Can... I am just trying to help. Okay, so what are we thinking? I mean, we could be screwed either way. Well, maybe the station is still workable. Do you know how to operate a full radio station, Dr. Ruth? Guys, the radio station might just not have power. The people could still be fine. What if we get there and... Um, would you all just make a decision? Shut the fuck up, Jamie! Back at the... Fuck me! Come here! I'm fine! Go! What?
Sandra! Caleb! Where's Ruth? Watershed! What? Watershed! Place where we tried to make our own beer that one time. Is she okay? How should I know? I'm fine, by the way. Ruth! Ruth, are you okay? Okay, fuck this. Let's go in the house. Ruth, we need to know that you're okay. You all right? Not really. Are you hurt? No. Well, then you're okay. Okay, come on, let's go inside. Grab his legs. Sandra, we can't just stay like this. Pretty soon it's gonna be dark, we won't be able to see anything. We'll move when we have to. We need to barricade ourselves in somewhere. There's too many ways in. This room, then. I was thinking the basement. No. Why not? It's too dark, you can't see anything down there. Yeah, like I said, pretty soon we won't be able to see anything up here either. Are you serious? It's a flashlight. A shitty one! What do you want from me, Caleb? A little cooperation would be nice. Could you just shut up and watch your window? Who made you the fucking boss? Are you fucking threatening me? No, I'm not fucking threatening you, okay? Could you just do your job if you haven't remembered? Not everyone is back yet. So what, you just wanna wait out here blindly exposed in the dark all night long? If it was me that we were waiting for, would you be downstairs hiding in the basement? You fucking would, wouldn't you? No, of course I wouldn't. Then that shouldn't even be a discussion. Sandra, I get it. I do. We have to start thinking rationally. Rationally? Why don't you start thinking with some compassion for once? For once? I don't have time for this. Oh, you don't have time for this. You know what I mean. 
I don't think I do, Caleb. Why don't you come and share that with us? Oh my God. Daniel? It's not Daniel. How do you know that? Because he's outside. Oh, whoa, hold on, guys. Let's just. Hold on a sec. Daniel? Is it you? Yeah. It's me. Uh. Hold on one sec there, man. Just hang tight. Come on, let him in. Cedric, give me the gun. What? No. I just, I just want to go check him out, okay? You want to shoot Daniel? No, no, I just want to talk to him. Why do you need a gun if you're going to talk to him? Look, it's probably him, okay? But we don't know what else is out there. I'm just going to talk. Daniel, took you long enough. Yeah, took me long enough. Trouble finding your way? No, no trouble at all. So what took you so long? Didn't know where I kept this thing. I don't know how to work it. Come down and help me out. You don't know how to jump start a car? No, no I don't. So you come down here and we'll work on it together. You know, Caleb, I'm really sorry about earlier. What? You know how I can be. I understand. I really can get under the skin. This would have been a whole lot easier if you just let him inside. I'll tell you what. Let's bury the hatchet. It'll be fun, working together. It's okay, Ruth, he'll be in in a second. Yes, he will be. Just you and the space cadet. What? Inside. Look, man, I... I'm really sorry about that. I just... Daniel? Daniel, stop. Dan Daniel, stop.
if she gets back up. Where's Daniel? I don't know. Do you want to risk it for the jump starter? You really think you brought over a working one? Coming up? Not stand down here. <laughs>
He's the only one left. Sandra. You know, I'm getting really fucking sick of you pointing a gun in my face. What was that? flashlight, but not entirely useless. I'm gonna see if I can find something to jam it. It's fine. No, it's not. Gotten something down here, like a screwdriver or a fucking pickaxe or something. Sandra, at this point, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I guess we're not gonna get that rental back on time. You've been spared unpacking, I guess. <laughs> Thank God. You guys fucked that up so badly. Maybe we did it on purpose. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you fuckers. I'm sorry you didn't get your wish. What? To leave. Uh, I doubt this is the alternative you had in mind. <laughs> That's true. I don't get it though, why... Why live on a farm if you're just going to rent the land to actual farmers? Seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean it though, you know why I wanted to leave so bad. Why did you want to stay? I just wanted us to own land. You wanted to be a fucking landlord? No. I wanted to be a king. I was gonna make this place a castle. I didn't need a fucking castle, Caleb. I needed. You! We're not royalty. We're, we're not even very good peasants. I wish I could have done better. I know you do. <laughs> Sandra. We're not mad. 
Just come out and everything will be okay. I'm getting really tired. Stop talking like that! Sandra, I know you're scared, hun, but it's okay. Everything is forgiven. It's okay, we put up a good fight. Hold on five minutes. I don't think I can. I'm not gonna get out of here, but you are. I don't even know where the fuck to go. Sandra, I need you to understand something. This door is eventually coming down, and we are going inside. How about that storm door in the back? Tell me, do you think there is life on other planets? 
Well, I'm not quite yeah. sure, but I suppose it would be. No, you think definitely. Think definitely. definitely. How do you see this flight from where? Oh, I've seen a flying saucer. You've seen one? Yes, well, definitely. Headline, Joe. When, when was it? 1953. You don't think this is a figment of your imagination? Hmm. Several other people with me. Yeah, it's a nice flight. Yeah, it's quite nice. Ma'am, are you all right? Why are you driving that car? I'm on my way into the station. Are you okay? You didn't hear any of that? You didn't see it? Are you alone? Tell you what, you come with me and we'll get you safe. You can tell me all about it.
Jill. Are you my ride? Yeah. Hello there, friend. 